hello there my name is saurav and i am here on this introduction video that how you can prep for your interview how you can uh, solve your answers and how you can be more confident about your answer that you are going to say in an interview so what were these basic question that an uh, interviewer may ask you and what are the qualities and how can you express yourself to the interviewer is the main and utmost thing so my first thing i would start from the name of a uh, basics questions that he is going to ask so there are set of questions that you may practice before uh, doing any interview or something and without getting uh, more late uh, i think we should hop on to the questions that may arise so let's move on so first of all we will start from the um, introduction of yourself so as i am saying my name is saurav patra i am from kolkata west bengal i have Uh, done graduation in BBA from Techno India University, and I am currently a student of a uh, marketing launchpad of Craftshala, where I where I have learned various uh, topics about uh, content creation, SEO, and I have managed uh, and strategized many uh, many campaigns of brands, and I have gained. very more results and experience as well at at craftshala uh, i have learned various new things which were a uh, very new to me and i have gained a vast majority of experience from craftshala apart from that i am also a part of an event management company which is a i would say it's a startup but i have been part with them as well apart from that i am also been a part of an ngo uh, which is uh, which name is robin hood where i have served for one month and i have served approximately uh, 50 to 60 um, homeless child and uh, uh, people where i have served them uh, various with clothes foods and everything that experience has got me a uh, a uh, vast majority of uh, human behavior and aspects as well so these were my some of the experiences that i have gained over the years and for the next 5 years i am aiming to be a good uh, team leader as well as a good marketer in this field and i think i am in, in the right path as well as i am uh, uh, interviewing and as i am in this path as well so hope for the best so this was the first introduction of yourself that how you can say your introduction to the uh, interviewer so what was your last position which is uh, craftshala so i have to ask that why craftshala that why you have chosen that particular reason or institute as a specific reason as well to say this Uh, i want to share some um aspects that yes so here is this so the education in craftshala is amazing they are doing the um, exact uh, same situation that an a uh, startup can be doing like bridging the gap between an industry and a student what whatever uh, institution and whatever colleges don't teach them that uh, how skill you uh, how skill is more important to you how you can be more aced in your skills and why skill is more important than any degree so that is the main uh, loophole i would say so they are uh, bridging the gap between uh, of those and i i have researched about karshala in various uh, various search intents as well as well as on google youtube and on social media as well i have researched about craftshala in uh, google their reviews um, testimonials then i have 
uh, seen more about the um, testimonials of their students in YouTube. They have reviewed and they have said extremely good things about Kravshala that why it is uh, different from them. And uh, and while researching, I have also found out that there are many competitors that are doing the same thing. But what stood out from all of those competitors that their unique training program that they are giving a live hand uh, project to the students which is more credible to them and that are more handy on means you can get more hands on on something practical not theoretical like something that you, that our colleges are always teaching us theory reasons but for no reason that that specific theory is going to be uh, needed in the industry all of the things are uh, practical for that reason it intrigued me to opt this course as well and their live workshop and their live interaction with one-on-one -on -one student is amazing and i have read in uh, twitter and instagram as well so their content strategy in instagram is what fascinated me to opt uh, to opt the course as well so uh, along with that I have also seen the competitor were doing the same like uh, IIT then uh, upgrade then an academy they were offering the same thing but uh, the assurance that I got from there is more credible than the others because uh, in others I, I can see that they are also doing the same but I have not uh, gained so much of uh, credible information from their uh, um, website or social media as well so after researching a lot i have came to a point that yes this would be the uh, better option for me and this is going to be a great opportunity in my upcoming career as well so yes uh, these were these why i have chosen Rapshala. then uh, the third question that uh, many interviewers ask that walk me through your resume so if you have your uh, professional resume you can go on along with your uh, resume so as i am uh, starting and showing my cv to the interviewer and i will be explaining about the cv so i have my uh, professional experience in uh, quality analyst as a uh, data quality analyst at uh, TELUS International. I have been doing this as a freelancer from the last year, December. And I have been uh, recruited for uh, managing tasks of uh, quality maintain, which is uh, I have uh, Google intent searches of people. So my job is to check that whether those searches are showing them the accurate or not and is is uh, the search intent is relatable and relevance to the user or not then i have to arrange those data in excel then i have to sort down that these were the uh, mistakes that i uh, that i have got and these are the correct data that i can forward to my manager then they forward and ready forward the work and the task as well so this was my first uh, work experience till now and i have done uh, internship as a social media marketer as well <coughs> at uh, unschool where i have uh, gained over 50 plus leads as doing uh, graphic designing for the uh, company as well and i have generated leads through um, social media banners and posts and I have gained them a uh, presence uh, that how they can uh, grow themselves in social media and from there I have gained many um, experiences as well more of a functional I would say that I have gained experience from there and I hopefully uh, I can use those um, experience for my later job as well it would be more um, uh, empathetical and more credible to my uh, experience as well and third i have done uh, as a sales um, representative in a, a sales uh, marketing company 
where I have uh, generated 75 plus leads in a span of four months where I have showed a uh, um, sales pitch to each and every customer and I have also um, represented its uh, brands uh, mission and vision so that why they are good why they are the only pioneer that they are doing so uh, so much work and so much uh, to cater people as well and they want to ensure that their product is well consumed so and from there I have learned how to do sales and how to uh, communicate with people more and that sales job has given me a vast experience of uh, consumer uh, uh, behavior and not to predict anything uh, first of hand that I should not predict anyone from their basis that what should be they doing or not so this has gained me a vast experience okay so these were these <coughs> experiences of my CV so after moving down I have shared something that is really my passion for example I have shared something like cricket is my passion so interviewer may ask you that if you so this is a question again so if you were given an opportunity to follow your passion uh, how would you consider then uh, digital marketing so my answer would be uh, yes that's my passion as well but that passion doesn't help me to um, get my bread and butter uh, because that's my passion that i do it in my free time and my um, weekend days but that uh, that doesn't mean that uh, i can earn uh, money from that so right now i'm not interested in this and i don't want to shift that into in my career and uh, and i am seeing those in my future job as well so that is the reason that you can say as a point of that the this can this that this opportunity or this passion doesn't own you or you can you can't create money out of it so that's the reason hey and you are doing it for a sake of your well-being okay so apart from that this uh, there is also a situation uh, question that it came that uh, tell me a situation that where you were um, working as a team and you have issues with uh, working with them so what would you do would you, what would you do so a situation came when uh, I was in my uh, Kraftshala program we were uh, assigned as a uh, group and we have a uh, four group members where uh, we were doing a project about uh, uh, Bevakov's uh, athleisure brand so we were making content pillars okay so one point came when I have given an idea to him that uh, this is the content pillar that can um, resonate with the uh, brands as well it can cater to many new users that they are trying to gain so at one point he got offended from my point that no you are you are you are not saying the right <clears throat> so to uh, to uh, I I think he he was trying to uh, he was trying to be more uh, over me like he he is saying the uh, right thing and i am not i'm not able to <coughs> uh, explain him that uh, in a better way so what i did i i talked to uh, many of my friends in my uh, other groups as well i have shared those points and uh, they have said this is a very good idea you can you all you can go with it but i am uh, I am sure that this idea <coughs> is going to be a next viral thing or as well. So what I did, I uh, contacted my mentor and explained him the reason. And he said, okay, he is going to take care of things. So I have pointed out a thing that I have done this and my one of my team member is not uh, uh, responding well. So. He had helped me with this time that 
he had set up a meeting to show that yes um my my idea was correct and you should approach like this then his eyes opened and he said okay sir i am sorry that your idea was great and i was the one who was intriguing me and i was the one who is uh, having a mistake with me so at that point all of the problems got resolved and everything got in line so that was the situation question that an interviewer may ask then interviewer may ask that why digital marketing so if you are a marketing student or if you are a uh, in in an, any management line then it it's easy for you like i am also a marketing student so i would say that uh, how marketing has um, impacted me from my school days when i was in um, class 12 i saw an ad of uh, one marketing campaign on the tv so i was very um, fascinated about that that how um, a, a a message can be shown to any of the people and they get valued from it and they were pursued to by this product that yes i have seen on this uh, tv on the uh, i have seen this ad on the tv and they got uh, considered as well so i think uh, that that the that message has an uh, more impact on their minds i would say they have gained a lot more um, consideration stage that yes uh, everything the ad has shown uh, is more valuable and impactful that they are showing the right thing and uh, and at that moment i realized that how important an ad or an awareness could be to uh, hit on the mind of the consumer so at that point i have decided to move my career into um, marketing and that's the reason i opted into a uh, marketing course and i have done graduation in sales and marketing and from there i have gained various uh, new experiences about uh, marketing that how marketing is important how marketing is done and now we are in a stage of uh, web point uh, web 3.0 where uh, cryptocurrency and digital money is the main thing so i don't think there is any more beautiful career than this and that's the reason i have sh um, shifted my career into digital marketing and i think it is the main reason that why uh, or everything is going to be digital right now we have cryptocurrencies we have uh, nfts and many more so everything is going to be in the hand of ours and everything is going to be digital so that's the main reason that i have uh, shifted into digital marketing so these were these questions that may come so i there is also a situation based question again so uh, what are your biggest learning from kapshala that you have done your experience in kraftshala so what have you learned from there so the main i would say it is the content strategy marketing that how uh, how an ad creates an impact to the consumers like i want to give one example of uber they have created a campaign strategy of unlocking the cities so they have created a role for content for their uh, campaign that they are unlocking um, cities through their more over campaigns as well they are they are giving more um, credible information that why should you use uber only and how you can gain more experiences with traveling with one another so they have uh, shown a ad of people with their personal cards and they are um, they are having a hectic day and they are all busy with parking they are all lost with their uh, personal cards and they are not uh, getting any parking anywhere so there comes a solution where uber games and here is the solution that don't use your car use our cards as a pool and you can explore more with our uh, cards as well you can share more experience with your um, subordinates and, and those you are trying to um, travel with 
and you can also unlock many uh, various experiences with our uh, exposure program so that's the main reason that they are uh, they are doing this campaign and they are showing that how to unlock your own i would say city that you have not seen till now so and various teamwork i have learned from craftshala team uh, team management time management and various functional skills like excel that i have not learned from my childhood as well so this is the new learning from me and how to be empathetic and and how to be um, credible about each and every information that i uh, got and i have used in my um, day to day exercises and my <clears throat> works as well that i was uh, given as a assignment from krakshala it can be anything like influencer marketing to email marketing to social media marketing to creating campaigns to generate uh, content growth of the brand as well so uh, according to this there is also one question that what is your experience in krakshala so my experience is having a great in this i have gained so much functional and people skills they have a separate session for your human and behavioral skills that they they want to explain you in words that how human or how a how a human touch is more uh, beneficial for you or how a human touch is uh, needed in a corporate world it's not about just uh, shortlisting your cv or something like that the main reason is to connect with the human behavioral as well so i have gained many uh, i would say uh, functional skills uh, one of i would say it would be time management conflict management as a team i have gained uh, various conflict as well that yes you are doing the right thing and i am do- i am not doing the uh, correct thing i would say so one of the main reason that to uh, to come up in a middle point and you can have the correct uh, conversation about uh, the project that you are doing as well so i think that is the main reason <clears throat> that how you can uh, describe a conflict among uh, yourselves or anything as as well and i have gained various uh, human skills people skills as well as writing skills i have never been a writer from myself as well so this is the new skill that i have gained from craftshala according to this there is also same related co question where they have given uh, give me a pressure um, situation in craftshala so as a long uh, we have a uh, we were given a writing test along with that we were given on the same day that we have to submit a group project as well so that day i got totally panicked about that what should i do i have to do both the things at the time so what i have done i have managed my some work in the uh, group project with my um, fellow teammates they helped me for doing this and for the writing part i have uh, submitted the link and then i have uh, then i have um, submitted the link without writing anything then when all of thing got sort out i and, and i got a time to write in my own space so i have written in that night a full one page or a 1000 uh, words article so that it didn't affect my uh, attendance or my uh, qns scores and it also get completed in time so that's the day that i got little panicked about that i have a deadline to meet and i got so much things that that i have to do so yes pressure situation comes and it it actually sees you that how you react to it that how you can uh, show your uh, planning or your skills that you can show 
or how you how how you are more uh, structured in the way yes so there is another same question along to this that what was your responsibility in a group tell me your learning from it so i will tell you a situation where um, where our seo module was going on so i was a very i was the, i would not say that i am very good at seo but i know the aspects of seo so i have gained a knowledge of seo as well so what i have done we were the group of four team team members so i have handled the seo research part and for email and um, guest posting i have shared the work amount of uh, three of them by part so i have done the keyword research for an page and i have found out through the uh, google planner and my learning from that uh, was that uh, how to do the assignment with the with the help of teamwork and how you will help them others if they are facing any problem i would solve the issue like that if you are not understanding what we have to do we have to do this 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 step by step and then i will process if they don't understand then then i will sit uh, one of them and tell him that how this process is done how seo is done how how have to follow the intent of the page how to do top down method how to do bottom up method how to use google planner so that was the learning from me that i have got from this experience okay so the next question comes that what role you are planning to apply and what do you think you are a good fit so i am planning as a content strategist and a content writer as well which i have gained from the experience from craftshala and i think i can be more uh, more uh, fit for your role because i have experiences i have experienced things from the craftshala um, marketing launchpad program that i have gained certain skills or i would say i have gained uh, certain things that that is the main reason you are hiring you and that you are hiring students for so i think i can do the um, right amount of your works and resolve your problem as well and i think i can be a good fit for this role because i have done certain things in my past as well so i carry ex uh, experience in this as well so that's the reason i am applying to this job and i think i am a good fit for this role okay so according to this i can pursue with it as well because i have shown relevance and i want to pursue i i have uh, shown them the enthusiasm that i i am a good candidate for their work as well okay so according to that there is a um, relatable question that what is your uh, what is your usp means unique selling point that what makes you different from other candidates because you are not all the because you are not only the single person who is uh, giving the interview there are rest other 25 uh, members who are also giving interview for the same company so what is this um, unique point of yours that it differentiates from others so i would say that uh, what what are the learnings i have got from craftshala experience uh, is is great for me but apart from craftshala experience i have done more efforts from the learning as well i have given more timing in my uh, work in my experiences i have gained more knowledge about how to how to do content marketing how a comp, how a campaign ad runs i have done extra efforts and i have given a, a, a out of box solution and i have done some out of box things which makes me different from any other candidates so that's the reason i think i am a 
could fit for the role and these were my unique selling points so if you are saying that you are you have done a very or uh, good works in your um, very good works in your uh, experience in craftsala experience that you should also mention that my high ownership of work high ownership of uh, punctuality learning doing out of box solution doing an extra effort in in my assignment like what are the roles that you got that yes and there is always a tendency i would say that if a uh, mentor gives you something uh, out of the box solution so your responsibility is to note down that thing and you have to research it as well but many students got okay i have done enough of the day and and i will rest here so my my point of view is little different from that that what i have, what are the points that i have got i will write it down and i will give the extra um, extra research and solution to the problem and i will show more uh, more credible as well so these were my such uh, unique selling points to have and you can consider it so oh, we are in the last phase of these um, questions that being asked over here so over the um, craftsala experience uh, you uh, you will be asked that what is your usp means what is your um, unique selling point like uh, there are 25 more other candidates right above that they are doing the same thing so what makes you uh, different from another candidate so you can add various points to your um, context that you are a, a hard working uh, practitioner you have done out of the box um, solution for any problem that has been raised as a team or as an individual product as well you can also mention about those um, research that you have done over the past 3 uh, months in your uh, craftsala in your um, craftsala experience along with those uh, with those uh, practices and method and the the process and the approach that you have taken to solve down a problem you can mention all of the points to the recruiter so that he thinks that yes your uh, your uh, way of thinking is well structured and you can um, able to solve those problem by your own ease as well, as, a, um, as well and along with this we also get one question about that your teammates are um, deciding the uh, same course so why should they hire you and not not your friends or your colleagues as well so you can also uh, be a uh, a little biased about uh, yourself that you you uh, may not be so good but you are improving to be that good enough that everyone wants so according to me i think uh, you can show uh, empathetic towards everyone that yes each and every one is uh, capable enough trying to be modest or humble i would say no uh, do not try to be over confident that i am the only guy that i can do only these things and no one else in my batch can do that would be a uh, a uh, a big no to this um, decision or i would say by saying so you can go with an positive approach about your work experience your work approach your uh, work you have done till now so in this in this structural manner to follow the sar um, format that has been teached in your um, karshala journey that would be more uh, beneficial to answer these types of questions so um, going forward are what are your strengths so for strengths you can add out to a point that you have already experienced in your um, in your digital marketing experience or in your college that you have shown high proof of work high responsibility high uh, researchable skills like uh, for for instance i am giving one ec um, example of my uh, kraushala 
journey that we were uh, given about a uh, content make uh, a content making strategy for a brand which is bevacoop so we have structured down that what would uh, what it will look like uh, before the pre launch then the launch then the post launch so i have uh, figured it out that what does content works on uh, instagram and different platform of the of um, social media so i have segregated with demographics and with uh, certain groups that i would be wanted to um, target so to follow an approach to that i would say that we should follow a um, a basic trend that is happening and we should target those th those who are not um, aware of this brand so we would target a age range of um, 18 to 24 those who are college student those who are into into west um, western culture pop as well any pop as well so we will cater and out that tg market so we we were we will be launching about how a pre launch of a brand look and then the main uh, post thing then after post launch that how it would look around if we go around this as a solution for them so your research intent you can say with a good example like i have showed then what are your weaknesses so you can uh, tell about your weaknesses in not uh, particularly to your um, job description as well so your job description here is written as you need a high end of um, communication and communication is the core part of it so do not say any weakness that is related to the job description that that can be a no no um, situation as well so you can tell about those situation that they are not aware of like you you overthink a lot you can't say no to anybody so these are the things that 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 do not impact your um, job role as well as do not impact on your job as well so that they they can assure you or they can trust upon you so that they don't get disappointed after uh, hiring this person that he is uh, he is not that good in that so you have to maintain that uh, proficiency to uh, get role or a uh, get hired at these um, particular type of uh, companies and institutions so you can always play as uh, those skills that are not relevant to your job as well so tell your weaknesses about um, camera fear or you can say you are not um, comfortable in public speaking so, so those skills which are not related to your um, job role that would be a best case or a best saying for your uh, uh, i would say uh, for your weakness as well so after um, figuring i out so these are the question that comes that what what is your life biggest achievement so far so according to me i have done this course without a uh, prior ex experience of such uh, of such that um, will i be um, getting anything from it or not so my greatest achievement so far is my journey of craftshala that how i how i have started from day 1 from june and i have uh, never thought that i would that i would be completing such hard course of 10 hours per day you have to be um, dedicated enough to put in your efforts every day each along every week and you and you are expected to be uh, good enough to be uh, complete this course with so much skills to learn and so much um, transferable and so much friends you can make over these uh, past 3 months and uh, that has been a great experience for me to learn how how um, corporate reacts and how you are uh, a part of this beautiful journey i would say that you have completed over in the span of 3 months and yet you are not get ready to do so much of things right just your own of your pace like uh, this is your first 
step to your uh, uh, professional career as well so yes it has been a great experience for me so and i am very grateful to have it so yes this is my grateful experience i would say so, and then then comes and uh, a hypothetical question about give me a situation that where you handled an argument you can say about those things that actually happened because that creates a uh, credibility to your sound of answer as well so as so as an experience you can share this as uh, i would say about that uh, during my um, assignment i have handled one or two situations that every answer of uh, of my um, colleague or team member were giving those uh, are not in the uh, in favor of the project that we are going to have so suppose there are some reasons that is obstructing the way like uh, my content growth is not well enough to have a um, scalability to the people are or some reasons that the um, targeted group is not enough showing credible to the uh, uh, to the promotion or the ad we have made to sh show them so some reasons of that uh, so some conflict came around so what i have done that i have said that yes your approach is right so what we will do we will do both the ways we will share both of our ideas we will dump everything if you think this one can work so we will go around with uh, another solution as well so i uh, managed to uh, call upon one of the mentor and presented him both of my ideas so one idea was mine and another was his which he was very uh, offending and uh, defending his point so when our uh, mentor said that your approach your approach is right and uh, the thing is to understand from the readers perspective or the uh, market hand or the customer basis uh, perspective from so in that point he understood that his point was wrong and mine was right so through these uh, practices we have to uh, get over this i know this is hard that uh, no one wants to uh, feel that their idea is vague or everyone wants to be defensive enough so you have to be uh, more uh, practitioner or i would say be creative enough to show them the evidence that and and what will be the consequences if they follow such things okay so after this this is also a hypothetical um, question that uh, tell me a situation where you faced uh, criticism and how you handled it so the phase this time was in when i was uh, presenting many assignments to the uh, in my um, craftsala experience i have shared something that uh, that was uh, brutally i would say that you are not uh, good enough for handling this type of uh, task so i asked him that um, what what i have uh, done wrong what ca um, what are the approaches that can be taken to do such type of works or what are um, what is the uh, good practice to um, follow along all of the things then he has uh, given me the uh, feedback then uh, he has explained me that how you can approach through this ideas as well and along with it he has shown me an a uh, model um, example of it that how you should approach to such type of uh, situations that ever came so like uh, like i said as he explained such things then my uh, doubt got uh, cleared i would say and he has uh, explained that why he has been uh, explaining in such a way so that uh, my conflict has been uh, has cleared a lot from that so at that time i felt that i faced a um, constructive um, criticism but he has explained me the right ways and i don't feel a uh, bad about that and i have i i feel that i have learned and experienced from him and yes that's it so along with this one um, hypothetical or one 
a practitioner question comes that what do you do in your free time you can talk about your hobbies as well and you can talk about those um, case studies you have done along with those projects like suppose an assignment is uh, given that that assignment is given for you just not to just do as as everyone does that case study is given to understand the market what market wants what market they are um, providing in this world along with it they want to show how how things go react when you um, propose this types of idea as well so you in in this you can be uh, relevant to your job description as well like uh, like anything you can say in example you can relate to okay so after this one another hypothetical uh, question arises that you propose an idea and your manager rejects it so what do i do and how have you tackled this situation so as a uh, manager is above you you cannot uh, argue with him like no no i am the new guy i know how to do creative i know i know you are right but that the approach of handling uh, your manager is absolutely incorrect because he is holding an experience above from you and he is uh, elder than your age too so we you have to understand along with his tone of voice like how he want to how he will um, listen to you and how the approach would be so my approach would be sir i have done this type of things so am i doing the right thing or if i am wrong how should i approach it so these are the uh, hypothetical situation that you can go along with it and you can find along and you can take help from him as well and you can also ask from your colleague as well if you are doing something wrong and you can always ask for it okay so in these types of um, hypothetical um, questions you can back up with your answer with an example and your approach also so i think that's done and the last question comes that where do you see yourself in 5 years ahead so in this you can also add about that you want to gain exposure in the next 5 years and you can also add about that you you want to excel in your career as a digital marketer you want to get more skills and more uh, practitioner um, more um, more of a practitioner and more of a person that you want to lead a Uh, a team that would do great in uh, in their uh, prospective marketing campaigns marketing approach you can also tell that i want to be a, a manager of my uh, certain skills that you are having like i am a um, content guy person so i want to excel as a content manager or a social media manager in in my next 5 years so i am looking for my uh, relevant skills to i get hands on and get practiced and well enough to be skilled enough and get exposure so that my next 5 years can be a great path for me that i am building upon right now so like like these you can also mention about your skills that you are having and you want to be a good practitioner and a good marketer with it so these were these all of these questions that uh, a interviewer may ask so you are you have to be well prepared for it and you have to show how enthusiast and how empathetic you are so that he can um, trust you to believe in your words that you have said and he has given and and uh, make sure you have given enough example to to um, consider yourself as a perfect candidate for him because without that he he, um, he he would be thinking that he has just uh, mug up the answers and nothing is uh, going to help his company to grow his uh, grow his sales or not so 
basically why they hire they want to grow in their business they want scalability for their business so they will also ask that how you can grow my sales from this to this you have to uh, give a proven path or a proven approach that how you are going to be and how you are uh, able to grow their uh, sales as well and their awareness as well so what are the contents that i have shared through the through the first question you can go along by step by step with an sar format and the interviewer may be good enough and he would feel that you are the perfect fit for the role so these were these questions that uh, uh, interviewer may ask so that's it and i hope you are having a nice day and this video has uh, benefited you in a lot way i would uh, uh, wish you to practice these questions to be well enough to get answered all of these and which will get you hired so till then thank you